Good morning everyone. With every passing day, the things around us are getting smarter and smarter. But smart technology also means higher energy consumption. And high energy consumption will mean expensive utility bills. With so many fanciful functions in our smart technology, are they really necessary? If not, how can our salesmen promote energy efficient electrical appliances? Also, how many of us actually understand what the eco-labeling actually means? Lastly, and most importantly, we will assess the issue of whether energy-saving electrical appliances are really cost-effective. According to a report by NEA, air conditioners at home uses the most energy. Hence, the focus of this video will be directed towards air conditioners only. Air conditioners uses more than 30% of household energy consumption. With that, let's watch the adventure of Zai, the salesman. Hello there, are you looking for a brand new aircon? Friend not, I'm here to assist you. Let me introduce you to you the new Panasonic aircon. It has state-of-the-art functionalities that will ease your daily life. On top of its high cooling capacity, the Panasonic aircon has a human sensor as well as a sunlight sensor, allowing for a well-rounded cooling system all day long. When you walk out of the room, the, pan the Panasonic aircon will automatically switch itself off. Hello Zai, you have been a salesman all your life, pitching your sales tactics to your customers in ways to receive monthly incentives from your company. However, through your pitching efforts, you have failed to take into consideration the damage your sales have slowly inflicted the earth. I will allow you an opportunity to redeem yourself for your selfishness towards the earth and your customers. I want to play a game. Three questions will be given for you to answer. Answer them truthfully and you will be safe. Answer them untruthfully, and you will face the consequences. Let the games begin. You are up selling an appliance with high functionalities over an appliance which is better for the environment. Are you aware of the high energy consumption that comes with the extra functionalities? Yes, um, I'm aware, but I'm up selling because I know that my customer will love the extra functionalities, and I believe that she's not concerned about its energy consumption. That is a mere assumption. How unfair towards the environment. Since you are aware, did you educate your customer on the amount that she could have saved if she had bought the appliance with lower energy consumption? I'm, I'm afraid that it might change her mind about buying the aircon with more functionalities. Again, you are now being unfair towards the customer by limiting her options. Does your company use the ticks as an energy saving indicator for your customers? No, what is that? In that case, take this. Use this and implement it in your stores. Let your customers know and be aware of the amount of energy the appliance they are choosing will consume and let them know how cost effective it can be to purchase an appliance with more ticks. Congratulations, you've made it through. Some people are so ungrateful towards the earth, but not you, not anymore. Walk out of this room and mend your ways as a salesman. Play your part for the earth or I will return. Sir, sir! What happened? Sir, I want to buy the Panasonic aircon, the one with the human sensor and the sunlight sensor. No, let me show you a much better aircon, energy efficient LG aircon. Same price but 5 ticks compared to the Panasonic aircon only 2 ticks. Sure, Panasonic aircon has more functionalities but ask yourself, do you really need those functions? Let me explain to you why 5 ticks is better than 2 ticks. Huh? No extra functions but same price? Isn't that more expensive? No, let me show you the cost breakdown for both air conditioners. The LG aircon is more cost savings in the long run even though it has fewer functions. The Panasonic aircon has 2 ticks while the LG aircon has 5 ticks. Both have the same upfront cost. The annual energy cost for the Panasonic aircon is approximately $100 higher than the LG aircon. Comparing the life cycle cost of both aircons by adding the upfront cost for, to the energy cost for 7 years, the life cycle cost of Panasonic aircon is $3,800 while LG aircon is $3,100. You will save $700 if you purchase the LG aircon for 7 years. Wow! Look at how much I can save with the 5 tick aircon! Sir, get me the LG aircon now! Indeed, but I'm not done yet. Let us try to understand the technical difference between 5 ticks and 2 ticks. But first, let us hear what the general public has to say. I take the ticks as all energy saving, whatever, environmental friendly, or I don't quite look at it. Uh. Yeah, actually I do. Yeah. 
um, the more ticks there are, the more energy saving it is, right? Yeah. Like, five ticks is more energy efficient than two ticks is not very energy efficient. Yes, energy efficient. No, I, I guess they, they save energy somehow. Like, I don't know, maybe there are like some parts inside that like, use like, lesser energy. That I'm not very sure. So I'm, I would guess the, the more tips you have, the more the less power you use. No. No. Understanding the difference between 5 ticks and 2 ticks is very simple. It is compared to a metric called COP, which is defined as the ratio of total cooling capacity to effective power input and full load cooling capacity. In simple terms, output is to input. The higher your COP, the better. The higher your COP, the more ticks you have. Which means the colder the aircon can make you while using as little energy as possible, the more ticks. An example of 4 ticks would be as such. Using the heights as an illustration, the effective power input is shorter or lower than the cooling capacity output. But 2 ticks would be as such. Similarly, using the heights as an illustration, the effective power input is taller or higher now compared to the previous example. A higher input is required, hence 2 ticks. The obvious reason why the Panasonic aircon has 2 ticks compared to the LG aircon which has 5 ticks is because both of these aircons have the same cooling capacity, but the Panasonic aircon has cool and extra functionalities, causing it to consume much more energy compared to the LG aircon which simply makes you cold. Now that we've understood what differentiates 5 ticks and 2 ticks, let us take a closer look at the energy label. NEA has recently improved that old energy label to the current energy labels which we see in stores today. The ticks range from 1 to 5. Self-explanatory, 1 tick being the lowest and 5 ticks being the most energy efficiency. The annual energy cost is based on the average of 8 hours usage per day and 16 hours on standby. The capacity differs between appliances. For example, an air conditioner's capacity is based on its cooling capacity, while a refrigerator is based on its total storage volume. As a typical and rational consumer, the first thing I will be looking at when entering the store is the aesthetics of the electrical appliance. Secondly is the energy efficient label stuck to the electrical appliance. Then, in order for me to understand the intangible functionalities of the electrical appliance, I will have to approach the staff. Due to this, brands of electrical appliance will have to calibrate their product strategy by increasing their ticks in order to entice the customers and creating a good first impression of their brand and products. Look out for the brand and then see if it's a reputable brand or not. Uh. Then, of course, then I'll look at the price of the product itself. So, if it's a reputable brand, then the function itself is good. Uh, then I will have so much doubt about it spoiling. Uh. Whether the functionality, like, I'll go for something that certain brands that which I think can last quite long because I feel that this type of appliance, you pay up, uh, upfront cost, then it must be able to last you for a few years. I will choose a brand that I would think is safe and trustworthy so that no, there won't be any issues arising from it. The upfront, upfront cost, make sure it's not too expensive, it's affordable and whether it's energy saving or not, to make sure that it's cost efficient. I'll look out for the brand first, because if it's a reputable brand, it entails safety. And next, I'll look at the functionality for long-term savings, because in the end, it would be better if the function is good and it can help me save food. Yep. I think it's a good thing, because after all, I buy aircon, for example, is to get the basic function of getting cool air. If it can serve the basic function at a better efficient rate. Lah. I would choose the, the more energy saving one over the, the one with more function. Because I'm also looking for a electric appliance that can have long term savings. The functions are really, really quite cool, but if I really have to think about it in the long run, for example, for the case of the aircon, right? If I were to use an aircon, the only function I would need it for is to actually make the room cool, cool and damage down. So all those functions isn't really necessary. Well done, Zai. You have done well in sharing the knowledge about energy-saving electrical appliances. My time is up. I will now hand over the responsibility to you. It is your duty now to make a change in the mindset of the public. Hi there, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed the adventures of Zai. So, we have seen from our interviews that consumers actually do not prefer the fanciful functions in their air conditioners. They only need the basic function of air conditioners, which is to make their room cooler. Also, we have seen that many people actually know what eco labeling means on face value, but they may not understand the full meaning of them. I hope you understood them better from the explanations given by Zai. Lastly, we can safely conclude that energy efficient electrical appliances are indeed cost effective, since there is a long term savings on monthly bills. However, you are the one who decides whether you want to save their monthly bills or not. 
two ticks or five ticks, the decision is yours to make. Thank you.